Welcome to 17 Hats Pipeline, where workflow, tagging, and automation all come together in a powerful way for our founding and our premier 17 Hats members. 17 Hats Pipeline will provide clear snapshot of where your leads and your clients are in their journey, ensuring a seamless and efficient project management. When designing this feature, we knew that we wanted it to be flexible as flexibility allows you to create the perfect pipeline for your business. We also aim for it to be customizable, allowing you to select colors, add emojis, and give custom names to pipelines and phases. And of course, we kept in mind our 17 hat standard, which means developing and designing in ways that keeps it easy to use while still providing depth within the functionality. We are very excited for you to manage your business even better with 17 Hats Pipeline. Let's dive in and I'll give you a tour. Here's your first look at Pipeline. Let's go over the anatomy of a pipeline before I show you how to build it. The colorful area here in the middle, well, that's your pipeline. Your pipeline is made up of five phases. Phases represent the actions your projects go through along your client experience. Projects will enter, move through, and exit the pipeline through project tags. Looking at each phase in the pipeline, you can see phases that are associated with a project tag, and you can see a phases associated with a time period. Let's look at this quote pipeline. Pipelines are best used in conjunction with workflows, as workflows will automatically add and remove project tags. The moment I send a lead a quote via a workflow, the project is automatically tagged and enters the pipeline. If the contact does not complete the quote within one day, the project will automatically move into the second phase. You will notice here, I set the next phase for two days. What this is saying is that if a project sits in phase two for two days, it will automatically move to the next phase, therefore making it three days past due. This allows you to have a visual on how many past due quotes you have. This visual will then allow you to take the necessary actions. If this contact cancels, all you need to do is archive the project to keep your pipeline accurate. I also want to reiterate, that projects move through your different phases through the use of project tags. Let's take a look directly above your pipeline. Here you will find three different filters. The first is the last 24 hours. By clicking the filter, you will be able to see all the projects who have entered your pipeline in the last 24 hours. You will notice that each project is clickable and to the far right, you will see the status. Active, completed, and removed. The remove status is for projects that have been archived, the tag has been removed, or the project has been deleted. Moving to the active filter, here you will be able to see everybody who's active in your pipeline. And finally, the completed filter allows you to see the projects that have successfully completed your pipeline. Looking to the far right, you can also see the date the project entered the pipeline and the date of completion. Now let's go to the top right hand corner. Here, you're going to see two different buttons, one for leads pipeline and the other for client pipelines. You don't just get one pipeline, you get 10. You will be able to create five lead pipelines and five client pipelines. You can see that I have lead pipelines selected. If I move down here, you'll be able to see all of my different lead pipelines. My first one is for vetting my leads. My second one, is for consultations. And finally, my last one is for the completion of their quote, which is the last step of my client experience before they become a client. Now let's dive into how pipelines are created. While you can create a new pipeline here with the create new button, I'm going to click on the edit button to show you the back end of the pipeline. Looking at my quote pipeline and starting at the top, you can see that I have selected lead for my pipeline type. Next, I have given my pipeline a unique name. I have started it with the revenue stream and then a description about what this pipeline is about. Below, I can create up to five phases for my pipeline. The pipeline always starts with the project tag for the first phase. Here, 
I had the project tag spa, which is my revenue stream, quote, sent, which is the action. I want to keep an eye on my past due quotes. So my second phase is one day past due, and I added the time frame of one day. This means is if a project sits in phase one for one day, it will automatically move to the second phase. We do that by looking at the exact hour it enters into the phase. Example, if a project enters phase one at 6 p.m., it will move into phase two at 6 p.m. the next day. Looking at phase three, this phase will hold projects with three day past due quotes. For the time frame, I have it set at two. Therefore, if a project sits in phase two for two days, it moves into phase three, making the quote three days past due. I have continued the same pattern for phase four and phase five. At the bottom, there is a pipeline completed tag. This is your success marker for the pipeline. Once this completed tag is picked up on the project, the project will exit the pipeline. Let's take a look at my first pipeline. This pipeline is my vetting pipeline. You can see phase one, I'm sending a questionnaire. So I am looking for the project tag spa vetting questionnaire sent. Remember spa is my revenue stream. Vetting questionnaire is the action. My second phase is by day. Therefore, I can easily see all the projects that have not completed their questionnaire yet. My third phase is seven days past due. So that means if it sits in phase two, which is one day past due for six days, it will move directly into phase three. Once my client completes the questionnaire, the project will automatically be tagged spa vetting questionnaire completed. At that point, it's going to move into my fourth phase, which is my call lead phase. Once I call my lead, that workflow step automatically adds the tag spa lead call completed, which then moves them into phase five. And if a consultation is scheduled, my spa consult schedule tag is added. We highly recommend that you use workflows to add and remove tags. Therefore, your projects end up in the correct phase instead of showing in phases they are no longer in. I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of 17 Hats Pipelines. We encourage you to visit our marketplace, chat into support, visit our help articles, as well as 17 Hats University to learn more.